today on the Bowser Journal, I give you an update on our cracky cucumbers. But first, we gotta take care of the animals. So come on with us as we show you the progress of our cucumbers. The ducks come run because they know I give them a little treat in the morning. <laughs> While I take care of the ducks in the aquaponics, Barbie fin finishes off milking the goats. And Nico alerts us that there's somebody walking on the road. <laughs> what could Nico possibly want? Huh? What do you want, Bubba? Could it be this ball? Do you want this ball? Huh? Huh? Go get it, Bubba. The problem with Nico playing, playing ball is he doesn't like to bring it back. He's stingy. So as you remember, we were doing our cracky experiment. Our one in the cracky thing is actually, the plant's five feet tall. And we have a cucumber on here that's 11 inches. And as you can tell, the, green, the leaves are nice and green. And it just looks like a much healthier plant. There was a time when the uh, the ground plant ones actually were passing this one. They're actually taller and stuff, but they're not doing as good now. Here, I'll show you the, the cucumber. The water level in this is still pretty high, and the one plant in the back, the roots didn't reach down into the water good enough, and it kind of died off. But this plant's really doing good right now. It's just growing everywhere. It's growing across the bars. It's growing up the bars, it's going up the fence, it's trying to work the way across. Baby, why don't you have a toothbrush in your hands? <laughs> because I need to pollinate the tomatoes. How do you pollinate tomatoes with a toothbrush? I'll show you. So, tomatoes are self-pollinating, meaning their pollen drops down into a different section of the flower and pollinates itself. And if the bees don't come and bees and butterflies, the pollinators don't come and pollinate it, then sometimes you don't get a whole lot of tomatoes. But we watched MI Gardener and this electric toothbrush is about the same um, vibration that a pollinator would give when they pollinate. So you just take the electric toothbrush turned on and you sit it right on top of it. You can see it's vibrating it and that will, it has about the same amount of force to pollinate, so you get a better yield. So anytime the blooms are open, I come out here and pollinate them. And we've gotten a little bit better yield so far. And then you go brush your teeth with it, right? No, this is the garden toothbrush. <laughs> this one is the one that's not going down into well. And the plants, uh, the roots in this one really just, they didn't make it down in the water and it's dying off. Another thing that we noticed, the difference between these two is this one didn't get anywhere near infested by bugs and worms like the other ones down on the ground did. This one's pretty much bug free. It's the fish are camera shy. They normally attack the food. Look baby, we have baby deal. <laughs> um, one thing in our food forest, we're only planting perennials that'll come up every year or um, plants that reseed themselves and dill will reseed itself. So I've planted a huge dill patch here. So hopefully we have a lot for our dill pickles and we love to put dill on salad, fresh dill and stuff. So this will come up, we'll let it, we'll harvest what we want, we'll let it go to seed. We can save some of the seeds but then it will actually reseed itself every year and we should never have to plant dill again. Now we have gotten some cucumbers off of this plant and they've been pretty good size, but they've been kind of deformed. They're never really as well developed as the one I showed you off the cracky one. Now that's the first one off the cracky one, I believe. I'll have to check with Barbie to make sure. But you notice on these ones, the leaves are sparse. We had a problem with worms, we had a problem with bugs, 
there's a battle for these ones down here. The, the cracky ones have really been maintenance free. You literally just put them in and check on them every once in a while and that's it. Of course we gotta get in our morning playtime because a tired dog is a behaved dog. So until next time, live your own story.